Age Sal, heat number one. Entry 57 starts off the class. I think once again, a high quality female that really puts it together for breed characteristics. I appreciate her correct turn and, and roundness over her top, her proper slope there to her rump. And at the same time too, I think she bounces up extremely well and really combines a good amount of structure and volume and balance to the highest degree with some breed characteristics here within that class. A really nice female uh, within this class. Entry 58 is a big bodied, uh, thick made and design type of an entry. Uh, she maybe needs to move a little bit better off of the one front foot and the one rear foot. Uh, I don't know if she's had a possible injury or, or her size has caused her to be a little bit more ouchy on those feet and legs today, but certainly you can tell she's big and thick and has tons of product and width of working for her. I might correct her a little bit there on, on those front feet and legs and give her just a little bit more uh, uniform there by reducing a little bit of condition on her uh, but certainly a female that's got good volume decent structure uh, she's not moving quite as well today as you might prefer entry 59 is a little bit pound smaller maybe in comparison to contemporaries within that class but a hog that looks like it's got a decent amount of uh, correctness there to it. Uh, it wants to get out there and move and motor pretty well. Um, it's very, very small and moderate in that frame size. I would give it some more extension and elevation if I could. It does set those rear legs down really true and square, and I appreciate that about them. I probably would correct them as the front feet coming towards me, maybe make them a little more square, and once again, make the pig a little bit bigger in its kind uh, to move it up maybe higher in the class placing today. Entry 60, a uh, deep-sided, deep-bodied female uh, within that class. And I think once again, as she's coming towards me, I need to correct her on those feet and legs. She wants to toe them in, maybe not quite as square or true, be a little bit weaker on those front pasterns and maybe what's preferred. She wants to hinder that one back leg and not square it up maybe as we preferred as well. But I like to appreciate the, the roundness that she's got up over her top line. Uh, same thing with some of her breed characteristics. She's got up to those hips. And those necks. I just need to correct her on, on her feet and legs and, and make them a little bit better uh, from that standpoint. Maybe elevate her a little bit more at her points of her hooks and her pins as well today. Entry 61 is a big mature type of appearing female. Really appreciate that boldness up to that shoulder and the boldness up front. And she maintains that thickness and stoutness clear through from her fore rib on back to her hind rib. And we appreciate that about her. Uh, she maybe doesn't blend quite as balanced up there for her rump uh, to match that. But she's fairly decent, it looks like, there within her structure and her body type. Uh, she's maybe just a little bit heavier in her condition than I would prefer. But a really nice female, I think, that's got a tons of brood sow potential as well. Entry 62, I think once again, we appreciate that, those upright ears and, and appreciate her head and her neck placement. Uh, once again, I might change this female compared to some of the others in this class. It gets a little bit weaker up in her bone work and really tucks those legs up underneath her, maybe a little more uncoordinated than I prefer on those rear legs. I need to change her, it looks like, at her pin set and correct her there from stifle to hawk or from hawk to the ground. Give her just a little more mass and body. She gets a little Little bit ill proportioned and balanced uh, with her back half not matching the front half uh, but certainly has some good things that she's working with her as well entry 63 is a big uh, powerhouse i think when we talk about power and and thickness really thick up over the top and big in her middle uh, and and then she too has a decent amount of breed characteristics up front i might give the ear set a little more elevation just to be picky with what i would prefer but a really nice female from that standpoint, I probably would square her up too in her front and as she's going away from me, uh, she maybe doesn't quite give us enough smoothness on the move uh, that we've seen within some of the other entries here within the class. Entry 64, big deep sided, uh, thick entry. Uh, when we talk about this hog, we need to open it up though more in that chest floor, open it up as it goes away from us. It gets narrower in that chest cavity and gets narrower as it goes away from me. I need to give it some more width and some more correctness there. It really wants to pull that one back leg in more than is preferred. And, and I prefer to open them up and square that hog if I could uh, and give it just a little bit more soundness of structure underneath. It wants 
to not be as, as, as productive and, and correct there on that hind leg set. But we do appreciate the depth of body, the bigness and boldness in the front one third, uh, a pretty desirable ear set there on that hog as well today. Age sow division, heat number two, um, entry 65. Um, is a very sound structured female uh, that really gives us a lot of uh, productivity and durability there to her. When she tracks away from us, she has a decent amount of width of base at the same point in time. She maybe isn't the easiest flushing female, a little bit harder doing today in comparison to some of her contemporaries, but she seems to be fairly decent within structure and volume and balances up fairly well uh, with the correct turn over her top. Entry 66 is kind of a smaller stature female from that standpoint. Uh, she maybe doesn't give us enough natural arch and curvature and correctness there up over the top of that top shape. Uh, she wants to kind of break there and down in the middle um, and not be as rounded or roachy top that we would prefer. Uh, I certainly want to strengthen her up in her top shape uh, from that standpoint. She too gives us a little bit more tuck to her hind leg and I prefer to correct that uh, on her rear leg setting. Uh, maybe that will help balance out that top line where it needs to be. In addition, she's a little earlier maturing and smaller in her stature as well. Entry 67 is kind of a bigger made type of a female. I really appreciate the extension up through her head and her neck. Uh, a decent amount of breed characteristic that she possesses in the front one third of her body and carries that through uh, to her rib shape and her depth of body as well. Where I want to change this female is going to be in a rear leg structure. She gets more down on those pasterns. Doesn't quite set those rear legs down as true and, and as correct and, and correctly as she should. Uh, she too wants to be a little bit more droopier about her hooks and her pin set and that tail setting. I need to give that a little more elevation to make that balance up there from a profile there with its head and her neck at the same point in time. When she comes towards me, I need to square up on those front feet and legs, but an interesting female, I think that's got some good quality to her. Just some things on her structure I need to change to move her up higher in the class today. Entry 68, uh, the black and white female. We admire her for her ear set and her waddle positioning. Uh, she too has a decent amount of breed character that she's carrying from that standpoint. A little trickier to see her feet and legs uh, within the grass within her video but certainly a female that we've got a ton of, of thickness and stoutness there to her um, i'll probably change her a little bit there i think how she handles herself off of those rear legs to kind of give it a little more balance and correctness there to her uh, and probably in her front feet and legs as well uh, she seems to be a little bit more down in those pastures but a nice female uh, within that class Entry 69, the, the solid ginger appearing female. When she comes towards me, I need to square up on her feet and legs, but a female we really appreciate. I think when we talk about her breed characteristics, her depth of body and volume, as well as, as how she handles herself off of the structure, off of those rear legs, really sets them down really true and square. Gives us a good amount of width there from her pelvis on down and gives us a good amount of internal capacity at the same point in time. Entry 70 is a big frame, large outline entry. Uh, once again, this lady has a lot of good structure working for her. I appreciate that width and that correctness that she's got going on. She really can get out here and move with a lot of free and ease and is very athletic in her overall kind and design. I think she too has a lot of breed characteristics and looks like a uniform type of female, really represents this breed extremely well. And I appreciate how well she's put together from structure and volume and breed characteristics. I think once again, a high quality female here within this class. Entry 71, a uh, little more drooped about those ear set uh, than maybe I would prefer, but a big shouldered one that's opened up really wide there in the top part of that shoulder. Has a decent amount of width of base from behind and maybe isn't quite as balanced when we start talking about that. Gets a little bit coarser up over the top of that neck and into the portions of that jowl. When she comes towards me, I need to square her up and give her a little more correctness there to her feet and legs on the front and the rear set, but certainly an interesting female that's got tons of body and, and mass and power working in her. I just maybe need to make her a notch better in her structure today with a little bit more attractiveness in the front one-third. 
Entry 72, I think once again, a very sound moving structured female. Uh, we do appreciate once again her extension up to that neck. She's got a longer neck uh, compared to some of these other entries and we admire that about her. Uh, she certainly too got tons of volume and product working against her, uh, again for her, excuse me. And she too has a good amount of width as well. I'd probably change her, give her some more strength on the all four corners of those pastern set. Uh, she too wants to dip down a little bit more in her top shape. You need to give her a little bit more rise and roachness there to her top to give her a little more elevation and balance her up. Uh, she wants to crinkle and wrinkle a little bit on this too on the move there between her sides, but a really nice female that's got a lot of good characteristics to her as well. For selection here of your champion age sal within the two divisions in the heats, uh, heat number one would be entry 57. Heat number two is going to be entry 70. Uh, both of these females are a little bit bigger in their kind and their design, but because of that, they're better balanced. I think that really puts it together uh, for structure and volume and correctness here to the highest degree. And I really admire both of these females quite bit well, and I think both of them really give us a lot of breed characteristics that we're seeing here uh, within the breed association in my opinion uh, I think once again two high quality females here for our championship drive a matter of a personal preference here I think both are high quality I prefer just the look and the style uh, the hair coat and in the skin and the texture that we've got going on uh, certainly for the one versus the other so to me your champion today that really puts it together a complete package would be number 57 uh, she really is their high quality female with strong Structure, volume, and balance to the highest degree. Uh, reserve champion this division is going to be entry number 70. Uh, the other high quality female that really represents this breed extremely well too. Uh, minor differences among the two. Um, we might change that one there. This one uh, maybe isn't quite as stout there in that bone work. We might change a little bit there on the front toe set uh, to be picky. But two really high quality females here within your championship drive. For our third overall, an honorable mention in the age sow division is going to be entry number 69. Uh, the, the solid ginger appearing female, I think really has a lot of good quality working for her. Uh, she really, once again, represents the breed association and the breed extremely well. Need to change that one a little bit as it's coming towards me on the front feet and legs, give it a little more squareness. But we love her size of her bone. Uh, we love the width that she's got going away from us. Uh, big and deep and broody in her overall kind and design. Just need to make a, a minor change there but a really high quality female to be honorable mention today thank you